by the time this swan was purchased, it was already 100 years old. The silver swan was created in 1773 by the skilled silversmith James Cox and Belgian inventor John Joseph Merlin. The swan has been crafted from polished silver. Every feather and contour is meticulously sculpted to create a delicate yet lifelike appearance. Beneath the surface, the automaton is powered by a complex clockwork mechanism, bringing the swan to life. The neck alone is controlled by 113 silver rings. It moves smoothly and fluidly, while three fine chains run through the neck, mimicking vertebrae, giving the swan an almost organic presence. The swan's lifelike motion is enhanced by its ability to gently sway its wings and even catch and swallow a fish. The fish, which are made of metal, swim in a small pool, and some of them even have ruby eyes, adding a touch of brilliance to the display. The beak of the swan snaps forward to catch the fish, creating a captivating illusion of feeding, all thanks to the ingenuity of Merlin's design. Another one of the most striking features of the silver swan is the glass water, in which the fish appear to swim. The base of the automaton contains a small, carefully designed glass pool, giving the illusion of moving water. The glass itself is part of the clever engineering that allows the swan to appear as if it's gliding through a rippling stream. The effect is created by tiny gears and springs hidden within the base, which cause the water to move subtly as the automaton operates. This illusion of fluidity adds an extra layer of realism, making the display even more captivating as the swan seems to interact with the water and fish. The intricate mechanism also produces a soft, melodic tune, adding an auditory layer to the visual spectacle. The sound mechanism is perfectly integrated with the movement, creating a seamless and immersive experience for anyone who watches the automaton in motion. After more than 250 years, the silver swan still retains its magic, thanks to Mr. Bow's meticulous preservation and detailed instructions for mounting the automaton. This extraordinary piece of craftsmanship continues to memorize visitors at the Bowes Museum in England, a testament to the mechanical ingenuity and artistic vision of its creators.